when designing and building an online course in Blackboard Learn. There are several options that you have in terms of how you set up the entry point for the course. You can have the default entry point be a particular tool area such as the announcements tool or you can set up a content area and set it to be a home page of sorts where as students enter the course they see uh, a welcome and some pertinent information about the course itself. And uh, in this screencast I wanted to walk through the uh, approach that I've taken in my online courses in developing a welcome or start here page for my course. I'm going to walk through how it's set up in Blackboard as well as a little bit of the technical uh, nuts and bolts in the uh, the file that I use to and the code that makes this all happen. What you're looking at right now is an actual um, online course that I designed and taught in Blackboard Learn and this is my uh, home page entry point and so there's there's a welcome here it has a two column design so there's content about the course the course description the course overview um, I even have a my course uh, tutorial kind of walkthrough of the courses embedded here for my students as well as then some uh, the course learning objectives an ADA statement and then the right hand column is um, some pertinent information about the course when we're meeting uh, contact information and so forth and then at the bottom there are links to a few other help sites as well as a credit to uh, Lynn Murdoch at the University of St. Thomas who initially uh, developed the code for this particular home page design and I've modified it uh, a bit and so if you do use this in your course um, I'd ask that you'd make sure that you uh, credit Lynn as being the the author and the designer of this template um, and so one of the neat things about this particular setting up a home page like this is that it can be responsive to the size of the browser. So as I shrink down the browser window, you'll notice that the uh, text wraps and, and changes uh, because it's using what's called a div um, instead of typically what are often used in layout, uh, which are tables. And so if you just use a table, you don't often get that fluid resizing uh, motion. So I want to walk through kind of how you set this up and and what you need to get started. Um, so first of all, maybe we'll get to I'll kind of show you how I have this set in my course. So if I go ahead and turn on my edit mode, uh, what you'll notice is this is actually a content area. So in Blackboard, you can add uh, different types of items into your menu. So this is added as a content area. Um, it's also set as the entry point of my course. Um, so if I were going to add this again, I would go up and I would add a content area and I'd give it a name. Uh, I'm going to call this home page 2. Stuck it down here on the bottom of my my menu. And so now inside of this uh, content area, I could go ahead and I could start building out content. And that's that's really what I've done here. So this is this is actually just a single content item, this welcome start here um, item. Uh, a couple things about it. The uh, this this welcome to ETT 510 is an actual item so if I go in and edit it there is there will be displayed you'll see some code that you're gonna need in uh, just a moment and I'll show you um, more about this particular code so I did the editing of the code offline in an editor and this is the this here is the HTML code that you would need um, to be able to set up this home page area uh, but this is just a simple item type in Blackboard. So the item and then there, the code is here. And then the trick to have it display um, with just the text in line is to make sure that um, in the edit, the settings for this content area, that you have it set to show um, the text only. So the default view is to show icons and text in Blackboard. And then you see this um, extra icon and there's this extra space here so if you want to get rid of that uh, again you go into uh, the content uh, title you click the little action link button and you select the option to show text only so let me show you a little more about the code the actual code here we've got these two columns and there's obviously text uh, within it so uh, here you can see I have the uh, code for the home page actually opened up in uh, Adobe Dreamweaver. So this is just a simple HTML editor. 
Uh, what's nice about this is I can show you visually as well as show you the code side by side. Um, basically what's happening is there's a couple of uh, what are called divs or um, basically pieces of blocks of content that are set to um, kind of wrap within a larger div, a kind of a, a big box if you will. Um, and so using a, if you use a, a web editor like Dreamweaver you can edit the text but you can also go into the code so I'm going to go into the split mode here and so I can kind of show you the code a little bit here on the left and then on the right you can kind of see where where things set up so there's an initial div and that's this box around the outside so you see that blue the blue bar all the way around um, so there's a an initial div that has a width that's an inherit so it's going to inherit the width of the surrounding frame uh, which happens to be um, you know the blackboard um, uh, content area then you've within it there are two other divs one is and if you notice as we look at the code here the right column the, the narrow column is this chunk of code that you see up here so where it says div and position and and so forth um, this kind of starts that right column and so these are basically these headings um, that you see so where we see meeting dates or um, instructor information um, these are actually um, these are all paragraphs so if you know a little bit of HTML as you're looking at this uh, these lines that start with a uh, P um, bracket less than P uh, greater than and then a closing uh, paragraph tag here so this is a paragraph and then it has a span applied to it with a color and so that's how, in my example, I've got my headings brown because that was part of the color scheme in, in the, this particular course. Um, everything else is, is real simple HTML, um, making things bold, for example, like my uh, header for my email address, the, uh, the label. I put that, if you use the, the tag strong uh, before and after, you can make that bold and so forth. So it's real simple HTML in terms of knowing um, how do some basic formatting um, then when it comes to this right or the left column if you will the, the large column as we scroll down there's another uh, a div this div position relative um, and so forth this is the positioning that positions this uh, box if you will um, within the page and then uh, beneath that is again just simple um, paragraphs um, I used headings for the, uh, the sections and again you can change the colors if you know how to um, use hexadecimal colors in HTML you can update those and you can pick whatever color you like. Um, when we get down to my course orientation down here um, I'm using actually Blackboard has a, an embedded video uh, player and that's that's what I'm using basically from um, this this div all the way down to just below here all of this chunk is basically to embed the video so if you had a YouTube video or, or some other embeddable video clip you would just paste in that embed video code there and so you could have your own video um, and then for example I had examples uh, sample course the course learning objectives uh, I listed those here for my students and any other um, prominent info that you would want to have there for example the ADA statement um, you can you can load that in then at the bottom there's another uh, I mentioned that I have another um, there's this gray bar and um, this is using a, uh, a paragraph style so there's there's basically a this chunk here is the paragraph um, that is has a background color set and that's what is um, specifying what that that color looks like and again you could customize that um, the font sizes and such are all specified here in the, the code so if you do a little bit of uh, HTML um, can, you can look a little bit of this up and just do some googling and get a feel for what these tags are and and what they control and then um, finally is the um, the credit is down here at the bottom of the template so basically this is the HTML that you you can edit and you can edit this in a text editor just a, a simple notepad page um, or some text editor of, of your choice but you need this 
this is the code that you'll need to edit. Um, and you can actually take this code and put it right inside of Blackboard and do some editing in Blackboard. Um, you, you lose a few, um, some of the advanced functionality that you would have using a, an editor like Dreamweaver here. But uh, what I want to do now is kind of show you how you take this and you put it into a Blackboard course and you um, set this up. So what I need to do is I need to get this entirety of the this HTML code. And again, this, this file um, that I'm using here, this chunk of code, I'm going to share. Um, you'll find the link with the video in the description or if you're seeing, watching this on my blog, um, I'll have it linked there so that you can download the HTML code here and then you can uh, manipulate it. Uh, as you wish you know, for your course. So you copy this bit of uh, code and now I'm going to head into, I'm in a Blackboard course now where I'm the instructor and this is an, an empty a Blackboard course that's using this blank kind of home page area. And so I want to walk through how you now go about setting this up with once you've customized the code into your course. So what I want to do is create a content area. You want to have an empty place where I can put this. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to call this my welcome um, start here page and I'm gonna make it available to users so once I have it set up and available my my students will be able to see it now that new page is at the bottom of my course navigation menu so I'm gonna click and drag and I'm gonna move that up to the top here um, this is currently an empty content area so I'm gonna click on the link to go inside of it and now I'm ready to start adding uh, my content so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a an item and once Blackboard loads here, I can give it a name. I can say, um, welcome to um, the course. And I could give a more descriptive, uh, specific name there. I'm just going to leave it at for our example. Now you want to go to the HTML, uh, the, the text editor, and you want to open up the HTML um, code view of the item. And here I'm just going to paste in all of that HTML code, and I'm going to click Update. And so here you see now in the preview that we have the um, the content, the page is all displayed here. So if I click submit, now I see the home page. Here's my video. If I click it, it'll actually start playing. I'm not going to go through and, and actually play it for you, but you get the idea. Um, so everything is here. Now I want to make a few tweaks to this before I actually make it my home page. So one of the things is I... Um, got a lot of wasted space and this icon here uh, isn't that helpful. I'm going to go ahead and hide the icon and again you just go up to the title of the content area, click on the action link and choose the option to show text only. Uh, from here um, now I have this welcome start here page. The, the problem is when a student comes into the course um, when they enter the course they don't see this by default. Uh, what, st what they're still seeing if they come into the course is this home page area. And so what I want to do is change my start area. So in Blackboard Learn, if you go down to under course management, if you go to customization, and it's actually under teaching style, uh, if you click um, customization and teaching style, there's an option if you scroll down to select the course entry point. And there's a, an entry point and there's a, a drop down menu here. So this will show you all of the items that you currently have in your course menu. And if you select the welcome start here page, which is that's what I called my home page area, I'm going to select that as my entry point. I'm going to scroll down and click the submit button. And there you have it. Now, if I go ahead and click home, if I go ahead and go home here on my course, uh, you'll notice that my welcome start here page uh, appears. Here's my welcome. And now if I wanted to continue to edit this uh, home page, when you click edit, Blackboard does allow you to um, edit HTML within the editor. So I can use uh, the functions here to, uh, for example, I can do some some simple text edits to um, my text. I can change the color. Um, you can even actually go ahead and um, do things such as you can make highlights. Uh, and I could highlight this in yellow. Um, so you can do some um, some minor layouts. The issue is you you aren't able to do kind of this layout with the two column setup. Um, it's 
you want to get it in here first and then you're just editing text. So if all you're going to do is maybe uh, replace some of the text that I have here, you can take the file that I've given you, uh, just copy and paste the code directly into Blackboard and then you can begin editing it. If you do want to do any uh, tweaking of the layouts, um, the colors, um, that you're going to need to know a little bit of HTML to be able to pull off. So that's a quick introduction to how to set up a home page using the template I provided. If you found this helpful, feel free to leave me a comment here on the video or on my blog, and I'd love to hear from you. Best wishes as you continue designing and developing online courses.